morning guys. So I've just uh, had a few cups of coffee and had my breakfast. Pancakes, so good. I've already been here, so this is my third day. Hoping to stay in next week, so another five nights or five days, something like that. So while that's boiling away, I'm just going to show you through this little tent that we uh, shower in. So it's great for a bit of privacy. So this is the shower I'm going to be using. It holds seven litres of water, so it's quite a bit. And uh, yeah, I think it's really handy to have one of these when you are at a place long term or you're, you're at a camp like this one or a homestead or something like that. So it's really handy to have one of these. Just having a shower makes you feel a lot more better, especially in the summer. Um, and it's just, it's really good to keep hygienic. This is obviously the top, and when you want some more water, you, you pump it like that, up and down. I think we're gonna keep it here, at this little camp of ours. I'm gonna show you around later on. I haven't shown you it yet, but you can kind of see it in the background. It's so nice though. So I've had my shower, I feel really refreshed, it's really nice when you have one when you've been outdoors for a while, you appreciate it a lot more, um, but it's worked really well the little the pump shower that we have. So I just got myself a birch bell and uh, I'm hoping to carve my own cup or like a little bowl, make a little bowl out of it.
Hi guys, it's day four today. I woke up about 20 minutes ago, got myself a hot drink, and um, yeah, it's really nice today. It's not raining, fingers crossed it won't. Nice Becky. Same time, same place tomorrow. <laughs> and the same thing. Very nice. Cheers, Becky. Tonight I'm going to be cooking in the Dutch oven, it's a Petra Max one, so I'm going to be cooking chicken, I'm just going to put a bit of butter at the bottom, On she goes. That is crazy, we've got loads to eat. Good job, we're really hungry. Oh, my child, I know you hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault and you don't deserve all the bed in the hurt. Tried 
Well, it's really, really sunny today, which is nice. This morning I have cut some wood, some firewood. I have got some kindling for the big fire. Um, I went for a little walk down, down that area. And at the moment I'm just doing some archery. Yeah, it's been a really nice morning. I think it's about 10 now. So I've tried to fit in a lot in the morning because that's when I feel most most um, like motivated and awake so I think it's a good time to get things done If you're wondering why I'm collecting pine cones, it's because they are really resinous and they'd be great for starting fires. So they're really good fire starters and they burn for quite a long time. This makes a nice snack out on a walk. It's birch leaves. They're full of loads of vitamins and they've got loads of health benefits. Yeah, the, the young leaves, like they are now, they've just come out. 
really nice because this is when they're at their sweetest point. So I was recently kindly given these lovely homemade gifts. The, this woman called Elisa makes these these products and other art products um, to help inspire women to get outdoors. Her company is called Forest Freckles. So if you find that interesting, go have a look. I'm going to light this really pretty candle in this glass tonight and I've already started writing in this little notepad um, so yeah go go look at forest freckles and this topic's called wildflower look at that guys burger, cheese, egg and bacon with corn on the cob Nice one, Bushwacker. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. Over. Got any top tips for anybody watching? Uh, yeah, don't copy me. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> what are you reading for tonight? Percy Harrison Fawcett and his expeditions through the Amazon to find the lost city of Z, which could hold all the truths about civilization. An advanced civilization that used to live in the Amazon. Oh, interesting. They used to, used to call it El Dorado. I've seen the film, which is, looks see. really good. The film's good. This is the story of one man's passion to find the lost city of Z in the Amazon rainforest. Yeah, so if you're interested, guys. Awesome, but. There you go. He's my hero. Oh. Old Percy. You look like you look quite sensible with them glasses on. Do I? <laughs> For change. Well, I'll let you crack on. Good Happy on reading. <laughs> get out there and get Percy Harrison Fawcett, guys. Not Chrissy McCandless. <laughs> <Don't be> funny. <laughs> what? Well, you can't get a better place to read a book as well. No, it's lovely, isn't it? And the sun's out. Shame you haven't made that hot brew yet, you promised. Oh, go on, Becky. The fire looks a bit dead. <laughs> like know. that book. <laughs> <laughs> that really going for it. Go on, Bex, mate, your old pupper a drink. <laughs> Cheers, Bex. How is it? <laughs> How is it? Slippery slug. No. The soldiers of the Queen, my lord. The soldiers of the Queen.
I'm gonna pour the cold water around. What's been the hardest, the hardest thing for this trip you've had to do? Hardest or thing? Or dealt with? Uh, I had to go home the other day, so it was quite hard. I come back. But the hardest? Yeah, it was quite hard. You get yourself in a routine and a, in a system and then it's broken. So you've got to kind of adapt yourself to, to a little change. It wasn't really hard, but it was yeah, probably the hardest thing. It's gone smooth, seven days, and everything's run to clockwork pretty much. So you can tell you can, you've can you spent a lot of time outdoors. What advice would you give someone who loves the outdoors but doesn't know how to get into it or too worried? What? Someone that wants to go outside. Yeah, but they don't the have the opportunities, the oh, confidence, and the confidence. Well, if you get the opportunities to go out, you get the time to go out. <clears throat> start with anything in life. Start small, small steps, and then increase it. Same with it, you know, confidence. Because confidence is everything. Once you get your confidence, you can achieve anything. That's my advice. Small steps. Last question. Like you asked me, what have you learnt about yourself in the seven days you've been here? What have I learnt on this trip in the seven days? Yeah. About myself. Uh, I think patience. What, you don't have any? No, I've got patience, but I think you can increase the skill of patience if you if you work on it. So, being patient in, in what you do, being patient in if you're doing a task or if you're adapting yourself to a task, be patient with it. You know, everything's like rushed and flat out. In, normal living as such so yeah patience be really patient take your time when we're with every, any task take your time and enjoy the task at hand instead of trying to rush it and get on to something else so yeah I think I've learned that but I've, my patience is, is got to a higher level since I've been here for seven days thanks you uh, you crack on with them pancakes yeah. I'm currently out on a walk. We're leaving tomorrow, so I just wanted to come round and take some photos. The bluebells are so nice at the moment, so I've just been taking some photos. But yeah, it's stunning, it's really nice. It's gonna be weird going back tomorrow, but it's been a nice trip, and I'm sure there'll be many more this year. So yeah, really nice. Wake up in the morning and I raise my weary head. I got an old coat for a pillow and the earth is last in its bed. I don't know where I'm going, but I sure know where I've been. That was Bushwhacker 
seem a little bit of nighttime tunes for us all. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. So we're gonna think about <laughs> going to sleep soon. I don't need to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that cheered your day up a bit, listening to that. Had a good laugh out of it. <laughs> or maybe it chilled you out, who really knows. Anyway, we're going to be off to sleep, just sitting around the fire, the hot brew. And I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Night all. Morning guys, it's day seven and uh, it's half four now. I've just got the fire going, put my kettle on. Morning. Morning Bates. Day seven, eight. Day eight. Day eight for you, day seven for me. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just enjoying the sunshine. Got our coffee. Packed most of it away, haven't we? Yeah. It's a shame we've got to leave today. It's been a really nice trip. Yeah. Always next time though. Isn't yeah. It? It's been lovely though, hasn't it? Well chilled out. Into the routine now, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. Into the rhythm. And it's starting to leaf up quite nicely now, isn't it? Yeah. Getting thicker and thicker. Oh, it's been stunning, hasn't it? Roll on the next time. <laughs> Have a good sleep? Yeah. <laughs> Slept like a log. Woke up in the fireplace. Looks like you've been rolling around with your head. <laughs> <laughs> My new style. It's the wild man look. Mountain man. Do I look like a mountain man, Becky? Not quite. Not quite. What do I need? A few more days? Need to grow a beard. What? Big grey beard. <laughs> <laughs> so here is my sleep system. I've got a hammock, DD hammock, DD tarp, and the DD under blanket, which I'll be doing a video on sometime soon. So you can see it just hanging below my hammock, and that's worked really well. I've used it for every night, apart from one. And um, yeah, and then I've got my Rab sleeping bag. So that was a really nice sleep system, really nice setup for me. So comfortable as well. And I've missed staying in a hammock. So it's so nice to be able to sleep in a hammock again and be warm enough, especially with the under blanket. So the past seven days have been so, so nice. I think it's really good just to get away from your usual routine and get out of your house and kind of just be in a different place, different environment, doing different things and being with like positive people. I think it's just really good. And this time has been great to reflect on myself and my journey I'm on. And I think being out outside is really good for that because it's obviously so peaceful, so quiet, there's no one around and it's just been perfect just to, just to look back on things and kind of see what direction I want to head. So yeah, I've really appreciated this time. I think it's been really good and beneficial for me. Obviously it's worked really well for me, but also traveling to new places and just seeing different things and breaking up the routine is something I also wish to do because I just think when you get stuck in one place it's quite hard to become unstuck 
as the saying goes, if humans were meant to be stuck in one place, we'd have roots instead of feet. So, yeah, I've loved this experience. It's been so nice. I've realised in this seven days as well, how important family is. Through everything, they're always there for you. Um, and they're just so supportive and uh, I couldn't be more grateful. And I've learned that my dad is an absolute legend. He's, he's great and uh, he really inspires me and makes me laugh a lot and that's, uh, that's what I love. So we've nearly all packed up, putting everything away in the Land Rover. So that's us done. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you to all my subscribers and all of my Patreons, I will list them at the end of this video. Um, so thank you for making this possible. Take care.